Hey guys, it's Maggie, and I have Zach here. We're stopping for uh, road, road, road work, work. here. <laughs> Round three. Um, today is a crappy day. <laughs> we are currently heading to my GI appointment first, um, which is I have every six months. It's a totally normal scheduled appointment, um, and I'm going to ask him about Humera, I'm gonna ask him about my fluids because I actually have been doing really well and I haven't gone for IV fluids in months now, which has been fantastic. Yeah. Um, That's been great. It has been really great. Uh, saves me a lot of time, a lot of driving. <laughs> and the last thing I'm asking him about, which this honestly worked out perfect because I can ask him in person, uh, well, is about, it, work out it didn't work out perfect, but. no. <laughs> Um, but if it were to happen, this is a good day for it to happen. Um, I'm asking him about methotrexate injections because uh, if you have watched previous videos, um, unfortunately we found out yesterday that I have an ectopic pregnancy. Uh, we don't know where it is. It's, it's just behind my uterus. They couldn't really tell. Um, so I don't know if it's actually in a fallopian tube, but it is definitely caught early obviously because this was very much planned it was through an IUI and I have been going to the fertility clinic every other day for a few weeks now so they caught it extremely early um, but it's it's not a viable pregnancy it will not survive and it's very risky to me to keep it going so they have to handle it as quickly as possible um, and the way they do that is methotrexate injections so going to my doctor to confirm that it's okay for me to get that done uh, and then we are going straight from my GI appointment to the fertility clinic to get the injections done. And normally I would be going to my GI appointment alone um, because Zach works, <laughs> uh, but he is here today for moral support <laughs> because I'm sad. So <laughs> uh, it's gonna be a day, I, <laughs> that's all I can say. Um, I'll bleep that out. I so you might have to. I'll bleep it out, but like, I'm gonna, you know what I'm saying because like, there's no other word. Uh, so, Ruddy. that does not <laughs> capture what this feels like. So, it's two injections. Uh, they're gonna have two nurses do it at the same time. Yep, pretty much one in each cheek. It's wild. And then I have to go back in a couple days and get more because they want to make sure it works. A um, couple of things that I have to do with it. I cannot drink alcohol for a couple of weeks, which obviously I haven't been doing anyway because I've been technically pregnant. Um, and I have to stop my prenatal vitamin, which I stopped yesterday yeah. immediately when they said um, that it was ectopic because prenatals have folic acid usually in them and that impacts the ability of methotrexate to work. <sighs> this is just not at all how I thought this would work out. I really just thought that I would be sharing on YouTube and being like, oh, we went through three IUIs and none of them worked. And like, that's that. I did not think that it would work. And I I knew there was a risk for a topic, but it's so low and it freaking happened. I need, I need some luck. <laughs> I need to find a four leaf clover or something. You're Irish, you think the luck of the I, Irish is with you. It get pfft. I don't I have not seen that luck in my 30 years. <laughs> so um you probably have seen a little head poke up over here. We've got two of our dogs with us. Support dogs. Support dogs. So yeah, we're uh we're gonna knock this day out and hopefully the methotrexate works. If it does not, I do have to get uh surgery. So that would blow, because the last thing I need is to be cut open again. But um, we're just gonna hope, because it's early, that it'll work.
there's a mess. Oh, it's staticky too. Stop one for the day. This sucks. I know, Bubba. <laughs> Get over with. At least this is the easy part. <laughs> Just waiting for the doctor to come in. Um, I got a message from the nurse when we were in the waiting room saying that she'll discuss the methotrexate with my doctor. I was like, perfect. I think I can discuss it in two minutes. As we say. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. Did you get yourself? <laughs> it is freezing oh, cold. Up 50 feet in We're running late. Freezing in here. All right, we just got done the appointment. Um, I am all set to take the injections. The doctor was just saying <laughs> that sucks, basically. Um, so yeah, we're running just a little he bit behind. Oh yeah. He was super nice about it and just he was like, yeah. Why is there an arrow pointing this way? I don't know. That's a wall. That's a wall. Um sorry, I'm freezing cold. It's cold today. It's back so in freezing. He was running a little bit behind, so we're running late. I did call the clinic just to let them know I would be late, but they were like, that's Fine, I think this is a priority to do it as fast as possible. So, nurses are gonna come running at you if their needle's ready. Oh, thanks. No. <laughs> oh. I'm, I'm not looking forward to this. It'll be quick. It will be quick. It'll be quick, and then we can go home. Then I Relax. Can, I can be sad. Are you gonna be okay sitting? I don't know. All right. <laughs> we'll see. We got the waffle. No, we don't. I wish we did. Oh. The waffle popped. It did, yeah. Won't hold air anymore. I should have saved it. Wow, it got really dark on my camera. Okay, let's uh, let's get to the clinic. Just like the way to torture somebody is sew their their cheeks together. Like you're saying, the worst pain you've ever experienced was your stitch removal. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's terrible. This will be fun. I know. Okay, we are home now. It's been a it's been a little bit since the appointment. Um, I gotta invest in some waterproof mascara. That's what I'm learning. <laughs> I talked to my doctor. Um, it's just a lot. He's worried that maybe the whole reason I wasn't getting pregnant is you know even though my tubes were open maybe they're just funky and that he's worried the risk of this happening again might be higher so IVF might be the way that I would have to go which is not what I wanted I mean I don't think anybody does but yeah they did the methotrexate shots and it was fine I mean it hurt but it was fine they just had me lean over the table and they had the two nurses, one on each side, do it in my upper butt. Um, and it, it hurt. I mean, they're big needles, but it's a little sore now, but it's not unbearable. It's, it's fine. And now on Sunday, today's Thursday, on Sunday, um, hi Holly. You just say hello? I go back Sunday. I have to go to the King of Prussia location because it's the weekend. And um, they're going to do another round of injections, and then they're going to take my blood and see where my HCG level is. Um, if it doesn't go down, then we have to do surgery to remove. Like, if my HCG keeps going up, they're going to have to do surgery. I don't have an OBGYN. I only have a gynecologist, and it's the one that's in Philadelphia. Um, they actually mentioned a gynecologist closer, and it's the one that I went to that did not handle the whole PMDD thing well. <laughs> so I was like, um, I'd rather not go to them if you have anybody else. 
So I think they want me to make an appointment with an OBGYN and just get set up with somebody closer by. Just in, like, they know that that one does surgery. Um, I don't, I, I'm fairly certain mine does. Because they're in my hospital that I got my colectomy at, but yeah. This is exhausting. This is really hard. Um, so on Sunday, I'm actually going to go to that appointment alone because Zach has a trip that he's been planning with his friend for a while now. And it's got, it's gotten rescheduled multiple times. So I don't want to, I don't want to mess with that. <laughs> so I'm going to go to that one. Um, it's, I didn't cry because of the shot, the shot I could handle. It was just what it, it meant was happening. I hate having to do this. I don't want to do it, but I also don't want to die. <laughs> Anyways, I think I'm going to, I'm going to try taking a nap and, uh, I'll check in with you on Sunday. Good morning guys. Um, I am back. Well, not back quite. I'm at the other location for my fertility clinic because this is the one that's open on the weekend. So I'm back for my second round of methotrexate shots. I did not wear mascara today, just in case I cry again. <laughs> I'm trying not to cry in the clinic, but it's really hard when you're doing this uh, because I don't want to walk through a waiting room full of people that are hopeful <laughs> and just be the one person who's like, it didn't work out. Last night is when I posted the video telling you guys that it was ectopic and the comments were really amazing, <laughs> just really awesome. And I'm grateful for it. So I just spent hours. I haven't responded to anybody cause I'm just still kind of, this is still weird. Um, for the most part, I'm fine. It's just when I start talking about it, I get teary and, oh, this just, this sucks. I don't, I don't know another word for this. It's just really blows. Um, I am. I feel goofy, but I also don't, because it is a loss, but it is early. Um, I am grieving, like I am, <laughs> I don't want you guys to think that I am not crying this out, because when I found out, I came home, and I had a hard cry, like just a devastating <laughs> on the dining room floor cry. All the dogs were like, uh, you're good. Um, I am trying to process it. I, this is totally new to me. This is not something I've ever been through. I'm used to being chopped open and having to get through that. Um, which who knows, maybe that's how this is going to end. Um, so I'm getting the HCG tested today to see what, what is going on. Is it going up or is it going down? If it goes up, that's not good. We want it to be going down. Um, and then I, at least one more shot. I think they're going to probably do the same dose again. They've been really fantastic. They did pre-blood work before the methotrexate. The morning I found out, they did blood work for my HCG, did the ultrasound where they found it, and they're like, listen, we gotta stick you again because we need to, we're gonna have to give you methotrexate. We need to make sure that your liver and your kidneys are fine for it. So they did the pre-levels, everything was good for that. Um, and then, not today, but I think the next time I go in in a couple days, they're gonna recheck what my liver and kidneys are doing just to make sure that everything's okay. Um, so they are very thorough. They gave me a whole schedule that honestly I crumpled up and put in my purse because I was sad. <laughs> um, but I do have a whole schedule of when I have to go back and like when I'm getting HCG done and when I'm getting other blood work done. Um, I don't know if at any point they're going to do another ultrasound or just monitor the HCG and symptoms. Um, I don't have... I don't have symptoms other than like the pregnancy. I think the nausea is starting to go away. So I'm taking that as a good sign. Um, I've had spotting my chest, my like breast tenderness is, is there. It came back. Um, once my level started rising, it is still very much there. Just sitting here, it hurts. So yeah. Um, but I don't notice anything for the methotrexate shots. Not, not at all. 
Um, at least not yet. So, we shall see. Uh, I was going to bring my engagement ring today because I'm right near the King of Prussia Mall, which is where Hellsburg is. That's where we got it. Um, but they actually don't open until 11. I don't know why that is. I guess maybe because it's Sunday, but they don't open till 11. It's 9.30 now. And I guess I could walk around the mall, but honestly, with my butt being in pain after this, I don't think I want to. So I didn't, I didn't even bring my ring. Um, I guess when Zach and I pick up my wedding band, when that's fixed, I'll drop off my engagement ring. And then... Um, I decided that because this whole ordeal is just terrible, that I'm going to get myself a little gift. <laughs> um, I ordered myself a ring and it's rose gold because that's what my wedding band and my engagement ring are, but it has citrine as the stone. And that is the November birthstone because my due date would have been November 14th. So I thought I would get myself that ring as my consolation prize <laughs> um, to remember, I don't know, I don't want to forget this really terrible time or forget the little teeny tiny bundle of cells that I had inside of me. So that's what I'm going to do. And I know some of you guys have noticed this. This is a uh, necklace. I think I might have mentioned it before in a video. I don't remember. Um, it's St. Gerard. My best friend gave it to me and I guess it's the symbol of like fertility and popping out babies. <laughs> so you probably noticed that I am, I haven't taken it off. She gave it to me in August on our road trip. Um, if I can get it back in my shirt, I haven't taken it off. So that's where it will sit. Hmm. All right. Well, let me go inside, get blood work, get shots. And I am going to guess I'll be crying when I come back. <sighs> I wish Zach was here, but I also am glad he's not because he is doing his little road trip. It, he's not on a long road trip. It was just over the weekend with a friend and I just didn't want him to cancel because it's been a crummy two weeks and somebody should enjoy themselves, right? <laughs> so, um, I wish he was here for the shots, but uh, they were not bad. They're uncomfortable. They're a little painful, but it's just the... Uh, the symbolism of what it means is what really got me last time, so. And the fact that I'm already kind of, like, teary. I've been fine all morning. The fact that I'm already kind of teary is not moaning well for me walking out of here with dry eyes. <laughs> I did not know I'd be this emotional over this. Holy cow. Okay, let me calm down. And um, then I can get shots in my ass. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I barely made it out of there. I'm okay. I really hate this. They did, um, they did the blood work, obviously, and then they did the shots, but they did it one at a time. So that made me a little nervous. But, I mean, they hurt. They hurt now, but it's... And I just, I told the nurse, like, the last one I had done, I shook, I was, like, shaky after, and she's like, okay, we can sit. But I was okay this time. I was like, I think it's just, I didn't really know what to expect. And all the nerves built up the last time, and then afterwards, I just had to shake them out. Um, but I was like, I think I'm actually good to leave, because I just wanted to get to my car and cry. And I told her that. I was like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go to my car, cry it out for a minute. And then I was trying to check out at the front desk and this girl and her, whose significant other were just, I don't know what was going on, but they were just taking forever. So I was texting Zach over and over and I was like, I'm just texting you because I need to occupy myself because I'm about to cry. I don't want to cry in here. And then, uh, the the front desk lady finally looked up and she was like, you're good. So I like got to the front doors and burst into tears. <laughs> it hurts. Oh, I don't want to drive home. 
I'm gonna play some music. And we're gonna drive home and snuggle the dogs. And Zach will be home this evening and I told him that I want a new Starbucks travel mug because I have a huge collection now and I want a sweatshirt that either says Newport or Rhode Island. <laughs> so, uh, and I know I'm gonna cry again if they call. Well, they're gonna call and they're gonna tell me the HCG and I'm gonna be sad if it goes up, but I'm gonna be really sad if it goes down because obviously I know what that means. And I know that's what has to happen. Oh, God. I should have brought a pillow or I do have a blanket back there. I don't know how I would maneuver that though. Okay, I just, I need to get on the road. I might cry for another minute <laughs> and then, um, get home. All right, I'm home, obviously. I've been trying to nap, but I had my phone on loud so I wouldn't miss the call and I just got the call for the fertility clinic. Um, my HCG went from 3,600 on Thursday to over 10,000 today, which it's Sunday. Um, and I was like, oh, geez. And she's like, yeah, like, it's not that unusual, but by your next appointment, we do want to see it start to go down. So my next appointment is on Wednesday. I don't know why this is the case. They have been trying to keep track of my liver and kidney levels just to make sure I'm safe with the methotrexate. So they did it in office. She told me that I'll come in for the HCG and then I have to go to LabCorp to get all the liver and kidney stuff done separately on the same day. I don't know why they did it in office the one time and now they're not going to, but it's, it's just a pain in the butt because Zach needs my car for work and LabCorp doesn't have appointments till 1115. So now he has to work from home. Um, this really, really continues to irritate me that our friend totaled Zach's car. It's very inconvenient not to have two. And we're not in an area that I can Uber easily to places. Like, they just don't come here. So, um, it's difficult and it's annoying. And I'm worried now because it went up to 10 freaking thousand. That seems... I, I don't know. It's supposed to double every 48 hours. But, like, I thought that it would maybe slow a bit. Which it sounds like it has. Um... I don't know, what would it have been if it was normal? So like 3,600 times by two. So yesterday it should have been 7,200. No, I feel like it's on track for doubling every 48 hours. Ugh. I don't know, she said like this is not unexpected, but by Wednesday it should, it should go down, hopefully. I don't feel anything. I was uncomfortable. I feel okay now. I don't feel like weird. I just feel tired. I'm exhausted. Okay, I'm gonna continue my nap. Okay, I took a little nap and now I'm downstairs again. I'm waiting for Zach to get home. He'll be home in a couple hours. But I feel like I got hit by a bus. I don't feel good. I'm just, like, nothing serious. It's just the nausea came back on all of a sudden. And I just, I feel achy and really worn down. I feel like I could go to bed. I think it's, <laughs> it's like 4.30. If I got into bed right now, <laughs> how much judgment would I receive? I'm thinking about it. I don't know if it's because I'm technically still pregnant or if it's the methotrexate. I'm going to guess it's the methotrexate because I actually felt pretty good yesterday. Um, but this feels similar to how I kind of felt Thursday. Feels like it takes a couple hours to kick in and then all of a sudden I'm like, Ugh, and I just feel off. So, so if I got it Thursday, I can't remember what I felt like Friday. But Saturday, I felt okay. So hopefully by Tuesday, I should be all right. I'm hoping. I'm really nervous about this level. Like, I just, I read a couple of people who wrote blogs and stuff about their levels and what they did after methotrexate. And they only got one dose. 
um, early on, and their levels, like, didn't increase nearly to what mine did. I am just... I think, I think the worst feeling is limbo. It was horrible not knowing what was happening. And now that I know it's ectopic, it's horrible not knowing, okay, how will this resolve? And it's Easter this weekend, and I don't want to feel terrible. And I actually, I think I have to get blood work on Easter. I don't even know if their offices are open. I'll have to go to King of Prussia probably. <sighs> At least I don't, I don't think that they can give me any more methotrexate. Not that I'm aware of. I think they gave me what they can give me. Um, they said that they were, like some people I guess they do one dose. But because they were able to find and confirm it's definitely ectopic. They're like, we're just going to give you the two doses. So. I don't feel good. I feel like I'm going to throw up. Maybe I should get my blue bowl. Good morning, guys. I am at the fertility clinic. Um, I think today I'll get a pretty good idea of whether or not surgery is imminent. I get an ultrasound and the HCG blood test this morning, which I won't get the results until later, but my last one was over 10,000. And they said by today, they would like to see it heading in the other direction. So yeah, I'm really hoping to avoid surgery. I, the more you get cut open, the more adhesions you make. And I know that in my last surgery, they just found me covered in adhesions, which my surgeon, took out and I noticed a huge difference. <laughs> um, I didn't even know that I was feeling anything from these, like all this scar tissue in me, but I don't know. I just, I don't want to be cut open again. I, I've been cut open so many times. I've had so many surgeries and it just, it's too much, you know? I've had a few comments saying like, why don't you just get the surgery and see what's going on in there? Surgery is really hard to recover from. And I don't want more scar tissue if I don't need it. Like, I don't know. I'm just really tired. I'm so exhausted with this stuff. All right, let's go in. Well, what I want doesn't matter. <laughs> I, um, it is looking very likely that I will be getting surgery. Um, I know I had at least one comment when I spoke about it that, you know, once the baby has a heartbeat, that usually it takes surgery. Well, it didn't last week. Now it does. I saw the little... So, they're waiting for my HCG level. Um, but she's like, it's looking that way. So, I have to make a call to my gynecologist, which is within the hospital that I get most of my surgeries. I got my proctocolectomy there. Um, which worked out well, because that gynecologist was able to talk directly to my surgeon and stuff. And, um that was really helpful. So we're hoping that she does this type of surgery. This sucks. I, I've been mentally preparing for it, but at the same time, I just, I didn't want it. Obviously I want surgery, but this is the way that things work out for me. And I just, it makes me really sad because this would have, if it made it in the right spot, it looks like it would have tried its hardest to stick in me and would have survived because <laughs> it is, making it through a lot of methotrexate. So I'm gonna go home. I think our power is gonna be off today for some electrical maintenance, I don't know. Um, I wanna get home and start some coffee for Zach and stuff. Ugh. Well, there you go. Okay, I'm home. Um, told Zach what's going on and I got sad and <laughs> T 
teared up because it's just, I don't know, seeing it is very hard, but I also do not want to not see it and not have that memory. Um, so I called my gynecologist that I normally see. I called the office to see if they do this type of surgery. I looked on their website. It said that they do DNCs, but I don't know. This is a little bit different than that, so um, I believe it is. I don't know. I've never been through it. <laughs> um, so they're going to give me a call back because the front desk lady was not 100% sure. She's going to talk to their doctor. Uh, and I'm going to wait to see what the HCG is. And if my gynecologist doesn't do it, they have another hospital that um, my fertility clinic works closely with. I don't know. I, I don't know what I'm leaning towards. If I work with the hospital that they know and they like, or do I go with the hospital that knows my body? I asked my fertility clinic, does that hospital you work with, um, do they work well with complicated <laughs> people like myself that just had a lot going on? And they're like, oh yeah, yeah, definitely. So it'll work out the way that it's supposed to, I hope. <laughs> But for right now, I'm sitting in front of the space heater because I'm cold and our power's about to go out. I made a burrito. It's like 9.45 in the morning. <laughs> but I was like, uh, if you want a warm burrito, you better eat it quick because you're not going to have a way to heat it up later. And I might, I might do a little vlog that's separate from all of this because I just want to put something a little happier out there. <laughs> huh. I'm getting a call. Oh, it's spam. Okay. I'll keep you updated. Okay, I have spent a lot of time on the phone today. <laughs> My gynecologist I called this morning and I had to wait to hear back from them. Unfortunately, of all weekends, my gynecologist that does surgery is away until Monday. And so they call me back three times. They're like, listen, let's go over what happened, how far along, what's your ACG levels, how much did they increase, what was, like, when did you get methotrexate and all that stuff. So we went through that. And they were like, we are just, we're worried that you will not be able to wait um, till Monday, which it's Thursday. And of course it's Easter weekend. I was supposed to see my brother and sister-in-law and... I haven't seen the kids in forever because of all this crap. So I got the call from my fertility clinic and my HCG went up. Not a ton. It went to 11,085. So they recommend surgery. And they are currently calling another hospital that I've never been to. Um, to see if they can get me a consult, like, really quick. <laughs> and... I'll likely be getting surgery very soon. So, of course, uh, sorry, I texted my sister-in-law. This blows. Okay, my hair is a little crazy because the last couple hours have been a whirlwind. We are actually heading to the ER. Um, I got a call from my gyne- or not my gynecologist, I got a call from my fertility specialist who spoke to the hospital that would do the surgery and they advised that to get this done as fast as possible, go to the ER. So, Zach is at work, he should be home any minute. Um, I packed a bag just with like extra clothes and stuff. Sorry, I'm shaking because I'm cold. Um, packed a bag with extra clothing and stuff and like toothbrush and ostomy supplies. <laughs> um, and I will likely get the surgery tonight. So I'm going to end this vlog here, but I, I will have updated you on how I am well before this ever goes live. I don't want to leave anybody hanging and questioning if I'm okay. So I will definitely update you somehow prior to this, but, um, I'll probably try to vlog because it's the best way for me to keep my mind off of things. I am shaking so much. I don't know. Maybe it's nerves too. I didn't expect this this morning. I really didn't. Um, this kind of sucks. Is that Zach? Someone's texting me. I'm trying to let my family know. I just got off the phone with my dad. Um, so everyone's aware. But alright. I uh, 
I'll try and vlog this awful experience and I will catch you in the next video. Bye guys.